Hey guys, Sean from Living Seeds, your seed guru. So today we're talking about rhizobium bacteria and what rhizobium bacteria is, is it's a specific family of bacteria. It's not a single species, it's a, it's a, it's a family of bacteria. And what the bacteria does is it attaches itself to the roots of legumes. This is Blicky's by the way. Um, and he's our little noisemaker. <clears throat> so what the rhizobium bacteria does is attaches itself to the roots of legumes and it creates nodules and those nodules are filled with bacteria and those bacteria absorb at atmospheric nitrogen and lock it up in the nodules. When the plant dies at the end of the season what happens is those nodules break down and they release the nitrogen into your soil and it's basically free nitrogen. So a lot of people say you've got to plant beans because the beans fix nitrogen into the soil and, and yes they do. But if the rhizobium bacteria is not available in the soil, it's not going to fix bacteria. It's simple as that. And the easiest way to see it is to actually lift a plant and look at the roots. And if you can see little round dots on the roots, those little round dots are the nodules that are growing. And I've seen rhizobium bacteria nodules that are the size of a gun, um, which is actually very, very impressive. So... Um, if you frequent the Living Seeds website, you'll know that we sell the rhizobium or we sell the soy grow inoculums. And soy grow packs these inoculums specifically for home gardeners. They normally only supply to commercial farmers in large volumes. We've spoken to them and they have specifically created a range for Living Seeds. And it is these small vials of bacteria. And they have a whole range of rhizobium bacteria for beans and peas and um vetches and things like that so how it works it's, it's very very simple so what you do is you take one of these vials and you mix it with between two and five liters of water one vial will treat about 20 square meters of soil so it's it's very very concentrated so you take this vial you mix it in in two, in two or five liters of water and you water your plants and it's literally as simple as that and by watering the plants, and I would water the plants, it's nice and overcast now, um, I would water the plants um, in the evening or on an overcast day. And what's going to happen is that the, the, is that the water that you water the plants with, um, the bacteria will penetrate into the soil and attach to the roots. Once it's attached to the roots, it'll then spread throughout your soil. And it's critically important to understand that if your soil doesn't contain the rhizobium bacteria, it's not going to fix nitrogen into the soil. And once again, there are specific strains per variety. So the rhizobium bacteria, the P. rhizobium bacteria, probably is going to work on the beans, but it's not going to have the best um, inoculating or at least nitrogen capturing abilities. If you use the correct bacteria for the correct species of plant that you're planting, you're going to get the best results. And these, bac these rhizobium bacteria are, are dirt cheap. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but they're less than 25 bucks for a packet. And if you think about the cost of fertilizer, especially um, now with the war in Ukraine, with the fertilizer prices going through the roof, any free fertilizer that you can get is going to help your garden. Guys, that's it. Thank you very much. Um, please subscribe. Uh, I think subscribers over here. Um, and if you have any questions, leave them down below. Guys, have an awesome day.